So thanks for joining us here in the lab. Today I've got with me author Rosalind Wiseman, author of Queen Bees and Wannabes, a classic. Thanks so much for joining us. It's a classic. It is Thank a classic. You so much. Everybody Thank loves you. this book, and it's such Thank a classic you. that it's out now out in a new edition. Is that right? That is right. So tell I had us to do a little a new about version. that. Queen Bees and Wannabes is really a guide to parents about what the world looks like to your daughter. I had to do a better version because the world had changed so much, and um, I had to do you know incorporate things like social networking. The other thing I had to do is I had to do a completely new chapter on boys. Actually about 80% of the book is new or refined um, because it, I felt so strongly that things needed to be better. And then the other part of what I'm doing is I'm working with Dove and Degree and Suave to do this incredible program called um, Don'tFretTheSweat.com. And so one of the things I wanted to do that I can do with this campaign is be able to sit, talk to parents about these little conversations that then maybe if we can have those conversations about BO or being uncomfortable about your body, then you can have bigger conversations later, the ones that parents more often think about, like getting your period or sex or drugs, all the ones that parents are like, this makes me nervous. Well, parents, yes, but dads especially. Oh my find, gosh. Do you find that dads struggle um, more than moms when having these conversations with daughters? Well, you know, there's a couple of things I want to say to the dads out there. <laughs> Number one is, you know what, when girls become tweens, the relationship between the moms and the girls can be very intense. And so dads, this is your time to shine. This is your time to come forward and you say, you know what, I don't, I don't, I'm not getting my period. I do, I've never experienced PMS. It doesn't matter. I'm going to be forward. I'm going to talk to my child. I'm going to talk to my daughter. Because the bottom line is, if you can have an emotional relationship with your child, and so many dads disengage, they say, I don't know what it's like to be a girl. So I'm not going to say anything. I don't know what to say. No, that's, I mean, like, your daughter desperately wants her dad in her life. But we don't have the basic qualifications for this that, conversation. That is not true. That is not true. If you can talk to your daughter about, you know, listening to her, to be present with her, even when she's uncomfortable, to not dismiss her feelings, that is how your daughter it becomes one of the strongest, competent women possible. One also learns some things about what a responsible and good man looks like. I was going to say that, yes. <laughs> if you want to like her boyfriends, if she wants to have a boyfriend, then you have to stand up there and show her what a relationship with a man is about and what she should expect from a man and what she should absolutely not, not accept from a relationship with a man. I've noticed that my, my oldest son is, uh, is almost 12. Mm -hmm. And so the talks are happening on an mm -hmm. ongoing basis, but that's been tasked to me. Right. And I know that my wife is having separate subjects, but it mm -hmm. seems like in families, often we say, okay, boy going into puberty, that's dad's job. Mm -hmm. Girl going into puberty, mm -hmm. that's mom's job. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that you need to have it's, it's important if it's there to be able to have the same gender kind of dialogue, right? But I also think it's incredibly important to have the cross-gender dialogue too because it's really important for girls to know what dads feel about these things. It's extraordinarily important for boys to have conversations with their mothers and for together to be able to have these conversations because if we don't, then it, we're existing in a vacuum, right? And you're, not, and you're missing a really important part of the expertise that your parents can give you. You can see why Rosalind is such a, a, a sought-after speaker and why her book, Queen Bees and Wannabes, is such a wonderful piece. I really think you ought to go out and get a copy of that. Thanks so much. Oh, no, thank you so much. Really thank enjoy you having so me on much. Dad Labs. Thank you, and good and we'll luck with you everything you're doing. Thanks very much. Thank you. See you next time.